We've been talking about biblical hope these last few days, and we're going to continue talking about it. And yesterday we talked about, you know, the definition of what biblical hope is. It's not just a wish or a dream for the future, but it's a it's an assurance. It's a confidence. It's the knowing that God will get you where he wants you to be and hoping him through that entire process. And we looked at Habakkuk chapter 3 where the Bible says, you know, even if everything is falling apart. And it says this multiple times in the Bible, even in Psalms as we had looked. But even if everything is falling apart, it's knowing that when I put my hope in God, he will cause me to rejoice. Amen. And we finish with the verse in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 where the Bible says, "Blessed is the man who trust in the Lord and blessed is the one who puts their hope in God and that's what the Bible says so when you and I choose to the moment you choose to follow God and the moment that you put your hope in God from that very second you are blessed because he will cause your heart to rejoice amen no matter what happens even if you're going through the hardest of times he will cause you to rejoice And that is biblical hope. But I think, again, as humans, as we had learned in our first two sessions, that we have a tendency to look at what we see, to look at, you know, what's around us and base our hope on that. So right now, when I'm telling you it's it's a blessing for you to hope and put your hope in God, you may be asking, you know, like, I don't feel it. Why should I why should I trust him? And to answer that and to kind of, you know, it it touched my heart and to expand on that, I want us to turn to Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6, the middle of verse 18 into the middle of verse 19, it says, It is impossible for God to lie. We who have fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It is impossible for God to lie. When you remember what we studied in God's providence, you know, he created this world with the most beautiful of intentions and God does not come to lie. He comes to share the truth with us and open our eyes so that we we may see the truth. So because he cannot lie and all of the Bible is his word, we know that when the Bible tells us and God tells us that he's going to bless us and he's going to cause us to rejoice, that that will come to pass. If you go to verse 14 of the same chapter, it says, I will surely bless you and give you descendants. And this is a quote from earlier in the Bible where God looks to Abraham and says, I will bless you. And he did bless Abraham. And likewise to us, when we take hold of these promises and we keep our hope in God, because the Bible tells us that he can't lie, they will come to pass. And that is our hope. That's our assurance. And that is our confidence. If you come to Isaiah chapter 49, verse 23, um, this verse here, I think is very important for us to remember also because it kind of gives us a little bit of a teaching point ourselves just to remind us of exactly who God is. And it says, Kings shall be your foster fathers and their queens your nursing mothers. They shall bow down to you with their faces to the earth and lick up the dust of your feet. Then they will know that I am the Lord for they will not be ashamed who wait on me. If you wait on the Lord, you know, the people who may be oppressing you, the people who may be hurting you, who may be rejecting you, the situation that you're in that may be causing you to just, oh, feel like you've lost everything and just feel out of control. All of those things will come crashing down around you so that they will know that God is with you at all times. And when you wait upon God's timing and your hope continues to stay firm while you're waiting, then you will not be put to shame. Those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. Those who wait upon the Lord will not be disappointed. The New International Version finishes that same verse saying, those who hope in me will not be disappointed. 
And that is our assurance that God's promises, because he doesn't lie, because he is honest, because he is true, he will make his plan come to pass in your lives and the people around you will be able to see how God has blessed you and caused you to rejoice. May your confidence, may your hope, may your trust continually reside in God today and let it be a reminder for you that he doesn't lie. Amen. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much.